cell is dark, the ceiling gray, the night is passing into day. Old man Park begins to pray, from my bunk I hear him say, Things I've done have led me here, lit by the gun and shed no tears. But now I'm old, I see things clear. We're all controlled by what we fear. Concrete walls that close me in, and all my memories are a sin. I have no friends, I have no kin, so let me die with the wind on my skin. is gray, the night has passed. Hello, um, welcome to Guitar Trek. I am Richard J. Dowling, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the composition of uh, Bury Me in Open Skies, which uh, I'm very proud of that song. I think it's, it's, a, it's a really, really good um, sort of epic ballad type thing. Um, and the genesis of the song is, is very strange because the, um, the, originally I had a completely different idea that I wanted to work on, which was this sort of minor third to major third. Idea. Um, and I'd had that idea for quite a while and I wasn't able to find a chorus for it. And then I, f I, I did this, which is D, I don't know if you can see <coughs> with the angle on the on the camera here, but it's D major, F major, C major, G major, which uh, is quite a standard chord progression for me. I usually I I, I like the um, the D to F, or well, it's basically the root to a sort of um, it's a major chord of the minor third of the D, um, and I use that maybe not starting on the D, but starting on various you know, different chords. That particular progression I use a lot, um, and then I played it to 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 my wife and my son, and they said, "Oh, it sounds exactly like everything you do." <laughs> so I was very unhappy about it. 
Uh, but I realised that the reason I was playing it to them, asking for an opinion, was that I wasn't really convinced. Uh, I really liked the chorus and I really liked the verse, but they just didn't really seem to sort of connect it together. So then I thought, okay, I'll keep the chorus, which is what, what became Bury Me in Open Skies, and the verse I'll put aside for another week and try and work on that another week. So I had the chorus, I didn't have any lyrics at this point, but I had the chorus, which I knew was a strong chorus. Then I spent ages trying to find a verse to write to it, and eventually I just, I thought, well, what would like you two do? And then I remembered, with or without you, it's basically the same four chords throughout the whole song. So I thought, okay, yeah, I'll, keep the, I'll just keep the, the chorus progression the same, I'll keep the, the chord progression the same, and just vary the intensity. I mean, I'm doing it just with uh, me and the guitar. Obviously, with the band, you'd have the drums kicking in at the chorus, maybe, and electric guitar going from maybe a cleaner sound to a uh, you know, distorted sound. So lots of things you can do with a full band arrangement. But you can sort of hint at it just by playing, you know, muted chords and then open. So I, I like to give a sense of the dynamics of a song. So the, 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 the song is very simple. It is just literally those four chords, D major to F major to C major to G major. I stay in G major a bit before transitioning into the chorus. And I imagine maybe a bass sort of sliding around there maybe, in, you know, um, doing a, a, an ascend or descending line or something. But, um, so then I uh, had, had the song basically, just the, needed the lyrics and I was racking my brains and the, 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 the chorus seemed to soar. So I was thinking about skies and I was thought, well, you know, what could I do that would be an interesting sort of image and I, I thought, um, just bury, bury, bury me in the sky as a phrase came to mind. I thought, oh, that sounds really good. I bet that's never been done. So I Googled it and of course it's been done. There's, there's a song with that, with that title and there's a book. Um, and I was really, really annoyed. But then I, I sort of, um, a, a flippant comment on Facebook um, sort of uh, made me realize that I, if I just put in an adjective for skies, then it'll probably be an original, completely original title. Now, this question of original titles is something that bugs me a lot because I, I try and come up with titles that I think are interesting and original. So it's always annoying when I see that they've been used before. Um, but it's inevitable. I think nowadays, you know, <laughs> so many combinations have been done for song titles, and it is very difficult finding something completely original. And there is really no, there is no pressure on you to come up with something completely original. I mean, as long as it's not a song that is well known. So for example, With or Without You, I mean, there's really no point writing a song called With or Without You now, because it's such a well-known song that, uh, I don't know, it just wouldn't, wouldn't, be, wouldn't feel right to start with. But in this case, um, Bury Me in Open Skies, as far as I know, hasn't been done after a quick Google search. And the, I came across a song by Johnny Cash, or at least it's, I think it's, um, I think it's a traditional song that he did a, a version of, Bury Me Not on the Open Plains, uh, roughly is, is the title, um, about a guy who's uh, dying and doesn't want to be buried in the open plains because the, the animals will come and get him sort of thing. So I was thinking, well, this image of bury me in the open sky, I mean, obviously you can't be buried in the open sky, but if you could, who would want to be buried there? Um, and at first I was thinking maybe it's like a pilot, a test pilot or an astronaut or somebody. And then I thought, no, no, it would be somebody who's enclosed, uh, who's in a prison. So was, the idea is, is a prisoner who's overheard, you know, as in his last moments, asking God or asking the world around him to be buried in open skies. And that, that was a nice image, I thought, of a, you know, a prisoner who's been in jail for a long time. And the, the desire to be, to be free. And of course, in, in some ways, uh, not, not as drastic, but you know, uh, we've all been you know, in various stages of confinement, self-confinement, quarantine and whatnot. So I think, um, I think we can imagine, I mean, obviously I'm not comparing our, our situation, but we can imagine a little bit of the, the suffering of people in prisons. Now, this is not to say that they shouldn't be in there. I mean, obviously, you know, we need to uh, punish people and we need to rehabilitate people. Um, but I think it gives you an idea of you know some of the, the suffering that they go through, and you know we can feel compassion for people even if we don't 
approve of their decisions, their choices in life. Don't, I don't want to get into the whole um, punishment and, and um, uh, prison thing. But of course, Johnny Cash famously did um, some concerts in prisons and he felt a lot of, um, maybe he identified as a, as a former prisoner, I believe he was a former convict himself. Um, you know, he, he was able to feel some compassion. So I think it's a good example as a human being to follow. And I'm really proud of the song. I'm pretty blown away. Um, I think it's really, really good. I'm very happy to have written it. it sort of, the lyrics just sort of came without really, once I've got that bury me in open skies, everything just sort of rolled uh, rolled along very nicely from there. I'm looking over here because I keep the, the lyrics uh, so I can remember them. Because <clears throat> in the space of one week it's difficult to, to write and memorise everything. And so that's it for this week. It's been a strange couple of weeks for me, I'm sure for many of you as well. Um, and uh, that's about it for today. Thank you very much for putting up with me and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.